So welcome to class. It's so cool that we're doing it online. I know today we have some of the regulars who usually join on a Wednesday and then we have some new people from all over the place. So um, lunchtime for us in Stockholm and I know evening time for people joining in Singapore and Hong Kong, but everybody is so welcome. Um, Today's class is going to be strong-ish, like what I always say, there's nothing too difficult in it, but it will be strong, I think, because a lot of us have been locked down at home. I'm going to work a lot of strength uh, routines into today's class. But as always, you take your time and you rest when you need to, coming into child's pose, which looks like this, toes together, heels apart and you rest like this or you know just straight up lying on your back in Shavasana. Um, as always as well before you take on board any new exercise um, routines or activities you check with your health practitioner to make sure that they give you the all clear before you start anything and the same goes for today's class. That's especially for new people joining. So make sure that you've got the all, all clear from your doctor before doing any of the sequence. Um, take responsibility for your health. And honestly, when you take responsibility for your health, it is wild and amazing the things you can do. Um, I'll introduce myself as well. I'm Quiva from Fit Green Lean. I work with corporates and individuals um, to supercharge their health. So we look at nutrition, uh, positive mindset strategies, and movement, things like yoga, like today. So for today's class, we're going to be working towards a kind of like a peak pose, which is dancer's pose. So we're going to work at kind of strengthening the back of our legs, our core, opening our chest, and doing a lot of fun little things in between. So if you guys are ready, let's start. We're going to come to lying on our back with our breath work. So coming into like Baddha Konasana with your feet, which is kind of like butter, or it's called butterfly pose as well. So bringing like the soles of your feet together, and the, or the sides of your feet together, and the soles of your feet will kind of look towards the ceiling. And from here, we're going to roll ourselves down onto the mat. So you can choose the distance that you're comfortable with having your feet away from your body. So it might be that you want them a little bit further away so that there's no pressure on your lower back or a little bit closer so there's no pressure on your lower back. If this is really uncomfortable, so it's not supposed to be uncomfortable, but you are supposed to feel a bit of a stretch. So if it's very uncomfortable, what I would suggest is you bring your feet apart to the width of the mat and knock your knees in together so they can rest there and it should take all pressure off your lower back. So from here, let's close down our eyes and just take our both hands onto our bellies, either side of our belly button. Starting to breathe here. Feeling your body connecting with the mass. Relaxing. Allowing your breath to just be natural. And then we're going to start to deepen our breath. So inhaling to push your belly against your hands, filling your belly with air, maybe feeling into the back of your lower back as well. And then exhaling, drawing your belly in to release. Inhaling to expand that air into your belly. And exhaling to release. All at the same time as relaxing through your hips and allowing your knees to open out to the side. Inhaling, expanding the air into your lower abdomen, lower back even. Lifting your hands to your belly and exhaling to release. Next, we're going to take our hands up around our lower ribs. So relaxing through your shoulders, we're going to start to draw that breath into our belly, filling up our lower abdomen and draw that breath up so that it expands into your ribs and maybe even lifts your hands. And then exhaling, releasing in the opposite way that we fill. So we're releasing from your ribs first and then drawing your belly button in. Allowing your knees to flop out to the side. Inhaling, drawing that air into your belly, up into your lower ribs, filling out, lifting your hands. And then exhaling, releasing back down. 
Let's go one more time. Inhaling, lifting your belly. Filling up your lower abdomen, filling into your lower ribs, around the back as well. And exhaling to release. Next, we're going to take our hands and place them under our collarbone. Shoulders shifting away from our ears, knees relaxing out to the side. If it's gotten like too much pressure on your back, bring your knees together, feet wide, and knock your knees together there. Let's inhale, draw that breath into your belly, up into your lower ribs, and all the way up into your chest. Feeling it expanding underneath your hands. Exhaling to release in the opposite way. So releasing through your chest, releasing through your lower ribs, drawing your belly button in on the exhale. Inhale to fill through your lower abdomen, into your ribs, in a 360 direction. Exhaling to release. Let's go one more time like this. Inhaling into your belly, into your ribs, into your upper chest, filling out into the back of your shoulder blades as well, and exhale to release. One hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, three deep flowing rounds of breath into your belly, all the way up into your chest, and exhale. Into your belly, up into your chest, 360 direction. Gently exhale into your belly, all the way up into your chest. Gently exhale, releasing your legs long, maybe rolling knees from side to side if you've had them in butterfly pose, opening your eyes now. Let's uh, uh, coming up onto our elbows. Um, activate through your left leg and take your right foot towards your bottom. So we're coming into kind of like a half hero pose or client hero pose. If you get to this point and it already feels like too much pressure on your knee or your foot, bring yourself up to sitting and you can do the posture from here, gently releasing yourself back onto your elbows as your quad stretches. If you're up for it and really lie back, you can make it a little bit easier by taking your calf out to the side, so just scooping your hand over your calf, making sure the inside of your foot is touching the outside of your glute. We start to gently roll ourselves back down, stretching through your quads. So if you're like me and you run and cycle a lot, the top of your knee might be lifted from the ground. So what I'm gonna do is focus on activating through my left leg, breathing deeply and gently encouraging my right knee down onto the mat, stretching through my hip flexor and my quads, breathing here. You might be up on your elbows or up on your hands like this, but that is also cool. Just work with your body, make sure that your body feels safe, gently drawing your knees together at the same time. Breathing here. Exhaling to gently push that knee closer to the mat. Core is strong. Let's go one more breath. Inhaling. And exhaling to push your knee closer to the mat. If you're able to, just switch feet from where you are. If it doesn't feel good, then come up onto your hands, sit up, roll your calf out of the way, take the inner edge of your left foot to touch the outer side of your left glute, activate that, le that right leg this time, rolling down gently on your elbows. Maybe this is enough, maybe up here is enough, or maybe you want to recline all the way down. Inhale and drawing your core in and exhaling to gently encourage that left knee towards the mat, not forgetting about it, drawing those right toes towards your face. Breathing here, let's go for two deep breaths, inhaling and then exhaling to release that left knee towards the mat, inhaling. And exhaling, let's go for one more while we're here. Inhaling, shoulders away from your ears and exhaling that knee moves closer to the mat, releasing both legs. So now we're lying flat on the mat, left leg is really active. Bend your right knee into your chest, grab around your shin and squeeze that knee in really strongly to your chest. Shoulders shifting away from your ears, stimulating our limb system as we squeeze into the area between our thigh and our pelvis. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 
when we stimulate our limb system, it breaks our immune system, which is so important right now. And I know regulars in the class will be fed up with hearing me say it. Okay, from here, we're going to release our left leg towards the ceiling, active through both feet. Now, both sets of toes are drawing towards your face. If you can, clasp your hands around the back of your right calf. Let's work through uh, releasing through the back of our leg here as we breathe deeply, taking our shoulders away from our ears. Maybe there's a little centimeter bend in that right knee. Maybe it's really bent. That's also okay, but we're going to work towards straightening it at the same time as releasing our shoulders to the mat, strong and active through that left leg, breathing here. Inhale to lengthen everything long, lengthen your heel away and exhale to draw that foot a little bit closer to your face. Inhale to lengthen your spine at the same time as lengthening that right heel away and exhale to draw it a little bit closer. Let's take our peace finger and our thumb and grab our toe if you can. If you can't, just keep your hands where they were. So we're going to inhale to lengthen, exhale to draw that foot just even a millimeter closer to our face. Breathing here, keeping our left hip pinned to the mat. Draw your core in super strong. Push the back of your lower spine into the mat. We start to release our right foot out to the side, but only so far as we can while keeping our left hip glued to the mat. And when you find a point where you feel like your left hip will lift, hold there, breathing strongly, left shoulder is glued to the mat. If you want, you can release your left arm long on the mat to create kind of an opposing force which might make it easier. If it's super easy, you start to bend into your right elbow to draw that foot closer to your face. Breathing here, really using your core and your breath here to keep your leg up in the air while your left hip is pinned to the mat. Let's see if you can release it a little bit wider to the side. Inhale, draw that core in to lift your foot back to center. Take your left hand to the outside of your right uh, calf even. Both shoulders on the mat, both hips on the mat, releasing that right foot over to the left side. For me, really kind of tight on my lower back so I can just shift over a couple of centimeters. Left leg is super active, both at the toes are drawing towards your face. Inhale to lengthen through that right heel and exhale to lower it just a millimeter more over to the left side. Breathing here. Take your foot back to center, use your core to help you get there. Clasp your hands around the back of your shin and draw your leg towards your face one last time. And then consciously and slowly release that right leg down slowly to the mat, using your core, drawing those toes towards your face. And let's lift the left leg just as slowly, just as consciously. Draw those toes towards your face. Left heel is reaching towards the ceiling, taking both hands clasping them around our shin, our calf, or even around your thigh. Draw that leg into your face, trying to keep your shoulders moving away from your ears, both sets of toes shifting towards your face. Right leg is super active, breathing here. We're gonna to inhale to imagine that the top of our head is lengthening, the same time as our heel lengthening towards the ceiling. And exhale to draw that foot a little bit closer to your face. Maybe it doesn't even really move, it's just the idea of it. Little bend behind that left knee. Inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to fold. Elbows move wide to the side as you draw that foot closer to your face. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to squeeze that leg a little bit closer to your face. Taking the peace finger, so your index, your middle, and your thumb of your left hand and putting it around your left toe. If you can't reach while keeping your shoulders on the mat, just clasp around your calf again. Breathing here, pinning your right hip to the mat, making sure that right foot and right leg is super active. We engage our core and start to release that left leg out to the side, just a little bit at a time so that we only go as far as we can while keeping the right side of our body glued to the mat. Maybe you want to release that right hand long your space today hey? um, at home <laughs> without somebody else lying beside you to create a kind of a counterweight to the left leg going out to the side. 
releasing it a little bit more. If this is really easy, you start to bend into that left elbow to draw your foot closer to your face as you release it out to the side. One more breath here. Inhale to lengthen through that left heel on the top of your head and exhale to draw that foot a little bit closer to your face. Core is drawing in really strongly as you bring that foot back to center. Right hand comes to the outside of your left calf. Both legs are super active as we release our left fat foot over to the right side of our body while keeping our left hip glued to the mat. So like I said, for me, this just means a couple of centimeters um, over to the right side. Breathing here, really pushing our left heel away, drawing those left toes towards your face to make it a really purposeful action and get the best a benefit from our effort, releasing your leg back to center, taking both hands around your calf, draw that leg towards your face one last time, releasing both legs long, stretching long, full body stretch, bending at your knees, keeping your feet off the ground if you can. Take your hands behind your, behind your knees, behind that bit of your uh, Thigh where it meets your knees, drawing your core in. Let's roll up to like Navasana. So we're balancing on our bottom here. You can take your shins parallel with the ceiling, all the time thinking about opening through your chest and trying to make your knees meet your chest. We've got this kind of drawing in action. And it's coming from our core rather than our thighs and our hip flexors. If you would like, you can take your hands behind your knees, but making sure that you're still initiating this whole movement through the strength of your core. So you take your hands away just to check. And from here, we're just gonna breathe for two deep breaths. Maybe you wanna release your hands long, keeping those feet lifted, knees drawing in towards your chest. And then we start to dip our right toe down really slowly and lift it. And our left toe down really slowly. And our right toe down and try to bring that knee to your chest. Left toe down, knee to your chest. Right toe down, knee to your chest. If this is too hard, then you start with both feet on the mat and you draw those feet in and up. So you just kind of reverse the action. Equally challenging, using your core, taking your knees to your chest. Right foot comes down, left foot comes down, right comes down, and left comes down. Stay in the balanced posture of the Vasana if you can. If not, take a little breather, drop your feet. From here, we're gonna take both toes down, reaching your hands forward if you can, and lifting them back up using your core. Knees are trying to touch your chest. Dip both feet just for a second. It barely touches the ground, lifting your feet back up, making sure this is coming from your core. Tipping them down, lifting them back up. Keep breathing, tipping them down, lifting them back up. Five, just as high. Four, three, keep breathing. Core is strong. Two, and one. Taking your hands behind your knees for a little breather. Stay in the balance posture if you can. If not, take your feet down. Let's move into some Russian twists. I know there is a yoga name for this. I will learn the Sanskrit for you guys. Taking your hands together, pushing your palms together in front of your chest, engaging your core. Let's dip our right elbow towards the mat. And then our left elbow, twisting through your core, twisting through your obliques, dropping those legs if you need. And then our left, shoulder moving away from your ears. And then your right, maybe you want to just lift one leg at a time. Lift the leg that you're twisting towards. And then your right. And then your left, and then we go six, and we go five, and four, and three, and two, and one. <laughs> We're in our balanced posture again, scooping out your belly, making your back really, really, really rounded. We're gonna roll through our spine for three or four rounds, and then roll all the way up to standing. So rolling back, making sure that you're not coming onto your neck, back up into your balanced posture, cores moving towards your spine, rolling back and up to balance and roll, just enjoy it, and up to balance and you choose when you come to standing, rolling all the way up to standing, stretching long, coming to the top of your mat 
Hands to heart center. Good job, guys. Toes together, heels apart. Let's come into our Tadasana. So we get our firm rooting into the ground before we start to flow through our standing postures. So imagining that there's equal weight on both feet. So you might want to roll over to the right side, roll in a circle to the left side, lifting your toes, spreading them really wide, gently placing them back down. And you guys know not to claw with your toes, so just checking in with them on a regular basis. Pushing your feet down into the mat, drawing up through our legs, so super strong around your knees, rock solid quads, gently tucking your tailbone under them and tucking your pelvis under, but gives you a little kind of engagement of your glutes. Core is drawing in, ribs are funneling down, you guys know the score, lifting your chest, shoulders shifting away from your ears, chin is parallel with the mat, we start to lift or root our fingertips down into the mat at the same time as lifting the top of our head high. Tadasana, breathing here. It's a posture in its own right. From here, we're going to lift our fingertips, reach them towards the ceiling, and check in with your body. Did everything shift all over the place? It shouldn't have. So really keeping your ribs funneling down, bellies drawing in, shoulders shifting away from your ears. Exhale to fold forward. This might be your fold forward today. Maybe your hands are on the ground. We're going to inhale to lengthen. It might look like this, or it might look like this. Either is perfect. Exhaling, right foot comes back. Exhaling, left foot comes back. From here, we're going to push out of our shoulders, coming into a really strong plank. Top of your head is reaching long. Core is strong. Bringing our knees down, taking our elbows in close to our body already before we dip our chest in between our hands, bum is high, and snake forward into a cobra. So knees, chest, chin up to cobra is our option for vinyasa at every stage during practice. From here to open our chest a little bit wider, we're going to pull back in our hands, like you're pulling them back to the back of the mat. Breathing here, core is strong, tops of your feet are gently pushing into the mat, drawing your core in, pushing yourself back up into downward facing dog. From here we're going to walk through our legs, so releasing even more into the backs of our legs, building on our Sukhapanagasana that we did when we were lying down. And when you're ready, you can come to a stationary position. Checking in with your hands, so looking down at your hands. Are your fingers super duper wide? If they aren't, try to widen them. Pushing a little bit extra into the index and thumb knuckles. Maybe even drawing your hands together a little bit. Maybe do the teeny bend in your elbows. Shoulders are shifting away from your ears. Top of your head is reaching long between your hands. Long and straight through your spine as your bottom, your tailbone reaches on the diagonal up to the ceiling and your heels reach down into the earth. Breathing here, thinking about equal weight between your hands and your feet. Let's all come high on our left toes, take our right leg high to the ceiling, draw that knee into your chest and kick that foot between your hands. Left foot comes to meet, lengthen, fold, push those feet into the mat, lift yourself up to standing, reach those fingertips towards the ceiling, palms to heart center, Samasthi to heat. Inhale, reach those fingertips. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to take your left foot back, right foot back. Super strong plank. Really light through our hands. Let's tip our weight forward on our toes, bend our elbows into the sides of our body, into our chaturanga, draw ourselves up into upward facing dog, opening through your chest. Core is really strong to protect your lower back. Gaze is out in a gentle diagonal out in front of you. Pushing yourself back over your toes to downward facing dog. Breathing here and taking your right foot, hooking it around your left calf. That little bit of extra weight can help to release the back of our leg a little bit more, pushing your hips back. Back and up, so back towards the back of your mat and then up towards the ceiling. Breathe in here, a little bend in that left knee, just a millimeter. 
Let's switch legs, right foot comes in, left foot hooks around your right calf. Shoulders shift away from your ears at the same time, releasing both feet back down. Just one breath here. Before coming high on our right toes, taking our left foot towards the ceiling, draw that left knee into your chest, kick your foot between your hands, right foot comes to meet, lengthen, fold, all the way up to standing, reach those fingertips towards the ceiling, palms to heart center, samasthi to heat. Inhale, reach those fingertips towards the ceiling, gazing towards your thumbs. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. If you're jumping back, engage your core first to protect your lower back. If you're joining me in stepping, let's go right and left. You've got your knees, chest, chin, or your chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra, opening your chest. Shoulder blades are trying to touch at the back, pushing back into downward facing dog. Breathing here. Gazing between your hands, jumping or joining me and stepping to the front of your mat, lengthening, folding, feet push into the mat, rising up to standing, palms to heart center, so must need to heat. Inhale, reaching towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to jump or step back. Jadaranga or knees, chest, chin. Upward facing your cobra. Pushing back to downward facing dog. Breathe in here. Gazing between our hands. Inhaling to take ourselves to the top of the mat. Lengthen on that same inhale. Exhale to fold. Rising all the way up to standing. Palms to heart center. Soft into heat. Inhale, reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to come back into a plank. From here, we're going to start to work into some of our strength building routines. We're going to strengthen through the back of our legs. I'm going to stay in full plank, I think. You also have the option of coming down onto your knees. Both are really good options and you can switch between the two of them. For this, just try to maintain your breathing. Look after your body. Don't push yourself too hard. Coming up into our plank. Let's lift our right leg. Easy to lift it. A little bit more challenging if you start to push through that right heel. Draw those right toes towards your face. Engage your glutes straight behind the back of your right knee and keep your hips centered so no swishing over to the right or the left. Drop that foot down. Shoulders are away from your ears. Lift your left foot. Again, kick that heel away from your body. Engage your glutes straight behind that back knee and drop it down. Lift your right and drop it and left. And if you're on your knees, you're going like this. And right and drop it. Left and drop it. Really reaching that foot along the way. Taking two breaths and drop it. Lift your left. Two deep breaths, stretching as far away as you can and drop it. Let's go one more time. The right and drop it and left and drop it down. Coming down to our knees, chest, chin, snaking forward up into our cobra, pushing back into our downward facing dog. Breathing here for a second. Taking yourselves forward into plank again. Again, you have the option for on your knees or in full plank. Lift that right foot, point your toes, draw your toes towards your face and drop it. Left leg rises, point those toes straight up to the back of the wall, back of your mat as you can, draw your toes towards your face and drop it. Right heel lifts, point, flex, drop. Left foot lifts, point, flex, drop. Right lift, point, flex, drop. Left lift, point, flex, drop. Knees, chest and chin, sinking forward into our cobra, pushing back into downward facing dog. Taking ourselves forward into our plank again. This is too much for you. You have the option of doing it on your knees. We're going to work through five chaturanga push ups. So maybe you want to try 
two off your knees and do three on your knees, whatever works for you. So lifting your knees, let's come forward on our toes, bending our elbows into the sides of our body, don't let your chest drop and push back up. One, bending forward, elbows touch your body, push into the hole of your hand and back up, keeping your bottom low, drop your body and push back up. Let's go two more, tipping forward, elbows touch your body and push back up, squeezing through your grips to help you, Rock your body, and push back up, all the way back to downward facing dog. Good job. Inhaling and exhaling, leg you through your mouth if you need to cool down like this. Let's go two more times. Inhaling. And one last time. Gazing between your hands, taking yourself to the front of your mat, lengthening, folding, rising to standing, palms to heart center. Taking our feet hip width distance apart. Let's inhale to sweep our fingertips off the mat, sitting into our Utkatasana. From here, let's work on just engaging all the muscles that we need to do this posture properly. Start to think about splitting the mat open with your feet. So you start to engage the sides of your uh, thighs making sure your knees don't cave in together. Lifting your chest, gently tucking your tailbone under a little bit, long and straight through your spine. Tight shoulders like me, cactus your arms and draw your shoulder blades together. Breathe in here. Core is super strong. Dropping your bottom down just a millimeter more. Inhaling to lengthen your spine along, lifting, opening your chest. Exhaling to drop your bottom just a millimeter. Inhaling, lengthen through the top of your head, open your chest. Exhale to drop your bottom and draw those shoulder blades together. Without shifting anything in your body, you know I love these if you're a regular. Lift your right heel, really purposely and slowly, drop that heel to the mat, feel the back of your thigh, back of your glutes switch on. Lift that left heel, opening through your chest all the time, core is super strong, and drop it down. Right heel lifts really slowly. Make sure your knees are not paving together. Your feet are still splitting the mat. Drop that right foot down. Left foot lifts. Drop it down. Let's go both feet together. Lifting. And then slowly dropping back down. Lowering your whole body forward. And exhale. Coming back into a plank. Knees just chin or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra, pushing back to downward facing dog. From here we lift our right foot towards the ceiling and take it in between our hands and we come up into warrior one, left foot. The outside edge is glued to the mat. Inhale to draw your body up, pushing into that right heel a little bit more, bending deeply into that right knee. Strong through your left knee to support it. The twist comes from our hip, not from our knee. Outside edge of that left foot is glued to the mat. Core is drawing in. Really easy to just relax our core in this posture. Draw your core and tuck your tailbone under. Open your chest. Reach long. Breathing here. Maybe you want to push those hands together. Straighten through your elbows a little bit more. Bending a little bit more deeply into that right knee. Pushing the outside edge of that left foot into the mat. A little bit more. Hands hit the mat, your choice for knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. If you want to lift one leg straight behind that right knee, upward facing dog or cobra, pushing back to downward facing dog before taking your left foot high, take it in between your hands, right foot swivels down on a 45, hips are facing forward, inhale to lift your body up, same as what we did on the other side, outside edge of your right foot, glued to the mat. Really strong through that right knee. Then, when you're safe and secure here, you can start to twist from the hip. If it's too pressure, you always come into a high lunge. Much safer on your knees. Pushing your left heel into the mat. Breathing here. Trying to encourage your right shoulder, right hip to become parallel with the front of the mat. Maybe you want to push your hands together, bending a little bit more deeply into that. Left knee and pushing more into the outside edge of that right foot. 
One more deep breath, core is strong, tailbone tucking under, hands hit the mat of your choice. If you're lifting your left leg straight behind that leg, or straight behind that knee, upward facing dog, pushing back to downward facing dog, breathing here, tailbone is reaching long and high to the ceiling. Deep breaths, thinking about our breathing at the start, filling your belly, your ribs, your lung, your chest, your lungs. Gazing between your hands, jump or step to the front of your mat, lengthen, fold, fingertips sweep the mat, Utkatasana, pushing down into the mat with your feet, rising up to standing, palms to heart center, Samasana to heat. Inhale, reaching down to touch the mat, but for reaching forward and diagonal, sitting into your Utkatasana or your fierce pose, or maybe you know it as chair pose. Breathing here, super strong, splitting the mat, core is engaged, glutes are engaged, legs are on fire. Exhale to fold forward. Lengthen before stepping back into your plank. Knees test chin or chaturanga, upward facing, pushing back to downward facing, reaching your right foot high, bring it between your hands. Warrior one, just for a breath, outside edge of that left foot is glued to the mat. Let's rotate over the toes of our left foot, coming into high lunge. So you're now on the toes of your left foot, bending deeply into your right knee, and straight through that left leg. Breathing here, core is strong, tailbone is tucking under. Let's take our hands to part past our center. If you've just eaten, then maybe just play around with reaching long and diagonal, coming back up. Reaching long, coming back up. If you haven't, haven't eaten, join me in a twist. Palms to heart center, left elbow outside of right knee, left leg is super strong, straight through that left knee, pushing into the heel of your right foot, twisting your body, drawing your core in to create space for the twist, gazing back over your right, Shoulder, right elbow, shoulder shifting away from your ears. Breathing here. Don't forget about that left knee, super straight. Gaze comes down to the mat. We lift ourselves up into high lunge again. Both hands hit the mat. Your choice for chaturanga. Upward facing dog, pushing back to downward facing dog. Left foot reaches towards the ceiling, drawing it in between your hands, warrior one. Outside edge of the right foot, glued to the mat. Breathe in here. Rolling over the toes of your right foot to come into a high lunge. Left heel is pushing into the mat. Right knee is super straight, super strong. Tucking your tailbone under, drawing your core in. Lifting your hands high. Again, if you've eaten, lean forward to the diagonal and come back up. If you want to twist with me, palms to heart center, right elbow outside of left knee, draw your core in and twist. Inhale to lengthen through your spine. Exhale to twist a little bit more deeply, gazing out over that left shoulder, left elbow. Right knee is super straight, squeezing that right glute, pushing into the heel of your left foot. One more breath. Before gazing back down onto the ground for stability, lifting yourself up into high lunge. Both hands hit the mat, your choice. Chaturanga or knees chest chin, upward facing or cobra, pushing back to downward facing dog. Breathing here. If you need to take a sip of water or take some deep cooling breaths through your mouth, please do so. Or take child's pose, whatever works for you. From here, we're going to gaze between our hands. If you're jumping, jump really lightly, engage your core. If you're stepping, step lightly, engage your core. <laughs> Coming to the top of our mat, lengthening, folding, rising up to standing into Utkatasana. I almost forgot. Hands to heart center, so I'm asking to heat. Inhale, fingertips reach long towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to come back into a plank. It's our second round of strengthening. From here, we have the option of coming down onto our knees. Maybe you want to try it in full plank to see what we're doing first. We're going to work our core. <laughs> coming up into full plank or knees down. Taking your right knee into your chest. 
and then stretching long like we did before. Right heel is trying to touch the wall behind you, toes are drawn towards your face. Take that knee into your right elbow and stretch super long, really purposeful, shoulder shifting away from your ears. That knee comes into your left elbow and then it reaches really long and strong away. You can drop it down. That's what we're going to do. So you can choose what you want to do, knees or, or uh, one. Let's do our left side. Take that knee into your chest. Reach that left foot really long away from you. Toes reach towards your face. Bring it in to your left elbow. Reach really long and strong away. Bring that left knee to your right elbow, twisting, and then reaching long away. Drop that foot down. If you want to stick with me by staying up in plank, please do, or drop down to your knees. Right knee towards your chest, and lengthen. Right knee, left elbow, and lengthen. Right knee, left, right knee, left elbow, and lengthen, really lengthening long away. Let's go one more time. Knee to your chest, and lengthen. So purposeful when you lengthen. Knee to your right elbow, and lengthen. Knee to your left elbow, and lengthen. Right foot comes down. Take a break or join me in doing our left side. Left knee in, and lengthen. Left knee, left elbow, lengthen. Left knee, right elbow, lengthen. That left foot is reaching long away. Let's go again. Knee to elbow, and lengthen. Knee to, well, that was knee to chest. Knee to left elbow, and lengthen. Knee to. Right elbow, refill your glute, turn on when you lengthen. Lower back down, come onto your knees. Roll through your wrists if you need to. Roll through your shoulders. Take a breath. Let's come into our cat cow. So inhale, dropping your belly towards the mat, really stretching through our abs. We just worked, just strengthened, drawing your shoulders away from your ears. Tipping with your tailbone first, your tailbone down, and then draw your belly in, really flexing through your spine into our cat, pushing into your hands, pushing into your knees and your, and your feet so much that you can pop up off the ground, off the ceiling. Inhale to drop your belly down, really dropping your belly as close to the floor as you can, pulling back in the mat to open through your chest, breathing, and then exhale, coming into our cat pose, pushing back into downward facing dog, walking through the backs of your legs before walking yourself slowly to the top of your mat, ragdoll, right hand, left elbow, left hand, right elbow, allowing the weight of your body to lengthen through your upper spine, pushing your feet into the mat, drawing yourself all the way back up to standing, palms to heart center, samasthi to heel. Let's inhale, reach your fingertips towards the ceiling, exhale to fold, inhale to lengthen, exhale to come back to our chaturanga, upward facing dog, pushing back to downward facing dog, right foot reaches towards the ceiling, coming up into our warrior one, rolling over our left toes, Coming into high lunge, bending our left knee to bring it down, rising up. And your left knee, see if you can get really close to the ground without touching, rising back up to straight behind that left knee, tipping down, shoulders away from your ears, rising back up, tipping down, rising back up, tipping down, rising back up, hands hit the mat, coming back into her. Downward facing dog, lifting your left foot towards the ceiling, take it in between your hands, warrior one, just for a breath, before rolling over with right toes, coming into your high lunge with a straight right knee, reaching long with your fingertips, bending deeply into that left knee, right knee bends down, tipping the mat just to get an idea of where the mat is, and then lengthening, bending back down, and when you lengthen, you straighten through that right knee, feel the engagement in your glute, core is strong. Tipping down, lengthen, pushing into that left heel. Tipping down, lengthening, so two more. Tipping down, reaching your fingertips long, lengthening. Tipping down, and lengthening. Both hands hit the mat. Coming down into your knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, upward facing your cobra. 
Pushing back into downward facing dog. From here we all drop our knees. Coming down into our tabletop. Reaching your right leg hand far away. Strong through that left hand. Fingertips are really, really wide. Clawing a little bit with your fingertips, a little bend in that left elbow. Reach your right hand far away and then reach your left heel really far away. Should be super strong after all of our hamstring and glute engagements. Core is drawing in like you're trying to touch it off your spine. Breathe in here. Stretching as far away in both directions as you can to feel the whole back of your left leg engaged. From here, we're going to take our left heel in to touch our bottom. Try and let your heel touch your bottom without using your hand. Now we're going to take our right hand around, grab the top of that foot, squeeze that foot into your glute even more, lift your knee, heel is touching your bottom, your knee is lifting, and we're going to push into that right hand, kick your left foot into your right hand, and use that to open your chest to the right side of that. Maybe you want to gaze back to those left toes. Push, push, push. Lift that knee as high as you can. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in here. Gaze comes back to the front of your mat. Release your hand. Release your foot. Stretching long. Coming back to center. Let's reach our left hand along the way. Right foot reaches really far away. Toes towards your face. Heel is reaching to the back wall. Breathing here, stretching as long and far away as you can. Core is drawing in, it's trying to touch your spine. Let's take our heel into our glute. So try to really, really touch your heel off your glute without using your hands. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Take your left hand around, grab the top of your foot. Squeeze your heel into your bottom, lift that right knee. Hips are parallel with the mass, core is strong, shoulders shifting away from the ears. Keep breathing. Breathing here. Now we're gonna kick into our left hand, allowing that action to open our chest towards the left side of the mat. Maybe we gaze back over our left shoulder to, to look at our right toes. Kick that right foot as high as it goes, kick it as far back as it goes, breathing, breathing, breathing. Gaze comes back to the front of your mat. Lengthen long with your left hand, lengthen long with your right foot. Both hands, both feet touch the mat. Inhale to drop into cow, exhale to push up into cat. Inhale into cow, exhale into cat, pushing back into downward facing dog. Breathing here before walking ourselves to the front of the mat, taking the opposite hold that you did earlier. Ragdoll to release through your legs, release through your shoulders, release through your upper spine, pushing your feet into the mat, rolling yourself all the way up to standing, and it's time for dancer's pose. So we've gotten so strong and so flexible in all the right areas, this is gonna be super easy. So let's start by pushing into our left foot. So um, the whole Engaging the whole of your left foot, flexing your toes to make sure you're not gripping. Taking your right elbow into your body. You can rotate your right hand out so your palm is facing towards the ceiling, back your hand is facing towards the ground. Let's take our heel into our glute and then grab the inside of your left, right foot with your right hand. Better probably not to listen to the words, I just love what I'm doing and then do it. Or you can just grab your hand around the outside of your foot, that's A-OK -okay as well. From here, we're going to keep both knees kind of close together, rooting down into that left foot. Choose a spot on the floor, the diagonal in front of you. And then we're going to start to push into our um, right hand with our right foot. At the same time as lengthening our left hand forward and use that as the... Um, Opposing force to be able to drop our chest forward. So you're taking your right foot up behind you, left hand comes out in front of you, and dropping your chest forward into your dancer's pose. Breathing here, just you don't need to go too low. If you're back up here, that's really cool. So right hand is lifted, pushing into that 
A left hand is lifted, pushing into your right hand with your right foot. And then just start to work your way down, centimeter by centimeter. Focus on creating that opposing force, the stretching action between your left and your right hands. And then roll your body down gently. A breath there. And breathing all the way back up. Releasing gently the way you came in. Walking through your hips just for a bit to release. Take it through your left glute. Let's try it on the other side, so it's always going to be different. Reading your right foot down into the mat. You can take your left elbow into your body. Palm is facing towards the ceiling. This enables us to kind of uh, grab the inside of our foot a little bit easier, but you do, do it how it works for you. So I'm going to twist so you can see me. Left hand into my left, or left hand grabs the inside of my left foot, taking my knees kind of close together, pushing down into my right foot, choosing a gazing spot on the ground. I'm going to start to lengthen my right hand forward, at the same time as pushing my left foot into my left hand and using that opposing force to facilitate me to kind of gently lower my body down. Pushing my left foot really strongly into my left hand, at the same time as reaching my left hand as high towards the ceiling, same time as dropping my chest, breathing here. You don't need to go too low. And then coming all the way back up. Maybe you were here to begin with, which is A, okay. And then releasing. Great job. That's when you can practice before you go to bed. Maybe brushing your teeth like this. Okay, toes together, heels apart. Inhale to reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to jump or step back into your chaturanga. Knees just chin, upward facing your cobra. Pushing back into our downward facing dog. Breathing here. Gazing between your hands. Jumping or stepping to the front of your mat, lengthening, folding, feet pushing to the mat. We draw ourselves up, the strength of our core, reaching your fingertips high. From here, let's come high on our toes as well. So we're balancing here. Fingertips are reaching long, heels are lifted, core is strong, shoulders are shifting away from our ears, and we start to lower our bottom. Lift your heels, lift your fingertips. Lower your bottom. Lift your heels, lift your fingertips. Shoulders away from your ears. Lower your bottom. Fingertips reach, heels lift. Bottom lowers. Fingertips and heels lift as high as they can. Bottom lowers, core is strong. Reach those fingertips higher. Lift your heels even higher. One more time, bottom lowers. Fingertips reach and heels lift so high. Rolling. Back down to sitting. Let's take our right foot to the inside of our left calf or over, not a calf, a thigh. From here, we're going to reach high with our left hand, engaging your left toes. Uh, your left elbow catches your right knee, and we start to twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist around to the back, right hand supporting you. Maybe you're on your fingertips. Using your breath to help you. Your breath, inhale, lengthens your spine upwards, and your exhale, you take the twist a little bit more deeply. One more time, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist, rotating around to the other side. So, left foot goes the inside of your right thigh, or the outside of your right thigh. Reach your right hand long, hook your right elbow around your left knee, draw that right foot, in towards your face, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist for our season twist on the left side. Using your breath like before, our inhale lengthens our spine, our exhale enables us to twist. Right foot is super active. One more deep breath, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist, coming back to center. Taking yourself long down your mat, releasing your upper body slowly to the mat, Heels come in close to your bottom. Let's come up into a bridge pose. Pushing your feet into the mat. Tuck your tailbone under. Core is strong. Roll up one vertebrae at a time until you get to just like the middle of your shoulder blades. No pressure on your neck. 
Make sure your gaze is towards the ceiling. Lift those hips really high, higher than you think you can lift them. Squeeze, 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 pushing into your heels. Lift those hips higher. Drive those knees out towards the wall in front of you on a diagonal. Breathing here, top of your head reaches long. Lift your hips higher, even higher, and then roll all the way back down. Still keeping that squeeze on your glutes, still keeping your knees reaching away. Taking a breath here. Let's go again if you want to come up into wheel, you can as well. But let's be stick with me and just do um, bridge, pushing into your heels, tuck your tailbone under, engage your glutes. Drawing your spine up one vertebra at a time. Knees are shooting out to the wall in front of you. Your hips are lifting higher than you think you can lift them. Let's clasp our hands underneath and roll our arms together. And then that enables us to lift our chest a little bit higher. So really opening through the front of your body. Lift your hips higher. Push your chest up. Breathing here. Drawing your chin away from your chest just a little bit. Lift even higher, squeeze your foot up bottom even more, release your hands, rolling gently back down, take your knees into your chest, clasp your hands around your shins, squeeze, 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 before rolling up to sitting, one last little um, stretch before we finish, let's come into half pigeon pose. So your left shin is parallel in front of the mat. Your right foot is reaching long down the mat. Both sets of toes are engaged, particularly the ones on your front leg. You're drawing those towards your knee. If you would like, you can keep your um, right toes tucked under, or you can release them long. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fall forward over your left shin. Keeping that right leg active, shoulders away from your ears, allowing the stretch to happen. Breathing into that left hip. This is a great one to spend a couple of minutes at. We'll just spend a couple of breaths, but when you have time, come back to us. From here, we're gonna take ourselves back up to sitting. Switch legs over. Right shin is parallel at the front of the mat. Left leg draws. Back long towards the back of the mat. You tuck those toes under or release them. Right toes are drawn towards your right knee. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fall over your right leg. Breathing here. Active through that left leg. Releasing yourself back up. Let's take both legs long out in front of us. Feet are on the mat. Hands reach long. Core is engaged. Rolling ourselves down as slowly as we can. One vertebra of your spine at a time. Chest is open. Top of your head is reaching long. Super relaxed. All coming through your core. Slowly. Slowly, 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 until your whole body is on the mat. Legs reach long. Let's work on a little bit of a self-adjusting Shavasana. Toes are reaching out to the side. Heels are facing in. Reach your right heel really long. You can close your eyes down if you want and relax it. Reach your left heel really long. Relax it. Squeeze your bottom as tightly as you can. Squeeze your thighs and relax them. Let's take our shoulders up towards our ears, really dramatically, really emphasize, overemphasize the movement and roll them back down your spine so your shoulder blades are flat on the mat and your shoulders are as far away from your ears as possible. Now lay your hands out flat, palms facing towards the ceiling, reach your right hand away another centimeter, relax, left hand out another centimeter, relax, taking your chin into your chest, and then relaxing your head back into a neutral position. Relaxing everything, allowing your body to shift back 
into its natural position. Breath relaxes. Whole body melts into the mat. As we do a quick body scan, relaxing our toes, our feet, our ankles, our shins and our calves, the backs of our knees, the fronts of our knees, backs of our thighs, fronts of our thighs, hips, glutes, core, lower back, mid back, upper back, ribs, chest, shoulders, fingers, hands, wrists, forearms, elbows, upper arms, back of our neck, throat, head, face, mouth, eyes, even our brain, our thoughts, everything completely relaxed, completely cradled by the mass. Start to bring our awareness back into the room gently, wiggling into our hands and our feet, wrists and ankles. Taking your time, you're at home, take as much time as you like. Taking your feet together, hands reach long overhead, stretch, 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 push your lower spine into the mat before taking your knees into your chest, squeezing gently here, maybe rolling through your lower back, squeezing a little bit more to roll through your mid back. Rolling over onto your right side, keeping your eyes closed if you feel comfortable with that. A couple of breaths here. before taking ourselves back up to sitting cross-legged on your mat. Let's take three deep breaths together. As we inhale, we feel our body rising up. And as we exhale, we feel our lower body rooting down to the mat. So inhale, top of your spine reaches towards the ceiling and exhaling. So tailbone roots down to the mat. Inhaling, filling up your lungs, filling up your chest. And exhaling to root down, ground down to the mat. One last time. Inhaling, drawing the breath into your belly, all the way up into your ribs, filling up your chest, opening through your chest. And exhaling, releasing the air and rooting down into the mat. Great job today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed class. I 